Welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this luscious and super creamy hair mask. It's amazing for anyone with damage from heat styling, coloring, or bleaching, but it's also an amazing deep conditioning mask for anyone looking to grow their hair. I do this once a month, sometimes twice, especially in the winter, if my hair needs the extra moisture and shine. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Let's get started. This is a collab with Emery Haley on YouTube, aka Supernatural Girl. She's vegan and cruelty free. She does get ready with me's natural hair and skincare reviews. Plus, she has some great vegan cooking recipes on her channel. Here's what you'll need an avocado, of course, aloe vera gel, and optional is some vitamin E oil, castor oil macadamia nut oil or if you don't have macadamia nut oil you can use extra virgin olive oil coconut oil or my homemade hair cream that contains coconut oil I'm going to use that instead some unsweetened coconut milk plus a bowl a spoon and a blender and if you don't have a blender you can use a fork but I would recommend a blender since it'll get rid of any lumps let's get started first I'm just cutting the avocado in half I don't know why I cut it this way I usually do it the other way and then you just take out the seed with your knife just be careful not to cut yourself the star of this hair mask is of course the humble fruit the avocado Avocado use as a natural hair conditioner dates all the way back to ancient Egyptian time. They use it to promote shiny and healthy long hair. It's very rich in nutrients and minerals that are fantastic for hair growth, like vitamin E, fatty acids, and the vitamin B complex. Avocados also contain vitamin A, C, and K, plus magnesium, potassium, iron, phosphorus, and copper, all of which are very important for hair growth and health. Using an avocado in a hair mask softens the hair, so it's also an amazing detangler. I'm going to use the entire avocado, but if you have medium length hair, you don't have to use the whole one, you could just use half. So to blend this avocado, I can't just use avocado by itself since it won't mix well. So I'm adding some other ingredients that I'll be talking about the benefits of later. I'm using enough ingredients in the blender to make it creamy but not too watery and not too solid either. So here I'm just adding one tablespoon of aloe vera gel and two tablespoons of coconut milk and then letting it blend. So just mashing it with a fork is another way to do it, but I prefer this way since it's much easier to wash out in the shower. It should be a nice creamy texture. It kind of reminds me of the texture of ice cream or pudding. So now I'm just taking my spoon and scooping it out into the mixing bowl I'll be using. If you're trying to grow your hair, I would definitely recommend adding coconut milk to your pantry. It's cooling and relaxing to the scalp because of the nourishing properties it contains. Plus it moisturizes all of your hair and it's a great inexpensive conditioner. Coconut milk has compounds that prevent balding and thinning of the hair like proteins and amino acids. Plus it's an amazing detangler for your hair. Vitamin E in itself is an antioxidant, which means it's anti-inflammatory, plus helps to promote a healthy scalp and healthy hair growth. It's also very soothing to your hair and the hair shaft and your scalp, so I would highly recommend vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is very good for anybody who has frizzy hair or damaged hair. It's also great for preventing split ends because it's so nourishing and relaxing. Vitamin E can also stimulate the blood flow in the scalp, thus encouraging hair growth. And since it's an antioxidant, it can slow the graying of the hair. Using vitamin E oil soothes irritation on the scalp and can help with scalp problems. 
macadamia nut oil is very similar in structure to argan oil, but it costs less from what I've seen. I also use macadamia nut oil on my skin because of its amazing anti-aging and softening benefits. Macadamia nut oil also adds bounce and luster to your hair. Plus, macadamia nut oil has properties that allow it to repair any damage on your hair and prevent split ends. Macadamia nut oil strengthens the roots and the hair shaft because it's very high in vitamin E and fatty acids, plus it's actually higher in those fatty acids and vitamin E than olive oil. Although olive oil is a fantastic hair oil, macadamia nut oil is higher in those nutrients and fatty acids and vitamin E than olive oil. Castor oil is high in omega-6 essential fatty acids, which is necessary for healthy hair growth. It also helps reduce split ends and controls hair breakage. Some people consider castor oil to be the end-all answer to thinning hair and balding or bald spots. And I think that castor oil is fantastic for thinning, balding. It's a very, very beneficial oil for your hair and I would highly recommend castor oil. If you're trying to grow out your hair or you are trying to repair damage, the reason that castor oil is one of the best oils for your hair is because it stimulates the scalp to promote hair growth because it brings blood circulation to your scalp. It is also very high in fatty acids that nourish and benefit your hair. I would definitely recommend mixing castor oil with other hair oils since it's a very, very thick, kind of like a, like a vegetable glycerin texture. Some people consider aloe vera to be a magical plant, and I can totally understand that because aloe vera gel has so many benefits and so many uses, not just for your hair. It's very, very good for anybody with scalp issues or maybe scalp psoriasis. You can mix this with different oils or in your own hair mask like I'm doing today. Aloe vera gel is actually very high in vitamin B complex vitamins, like vitamin B1, B2, B6, niacin, plus folic acid, and all of those B vitamins are very, very important for hair growth and hair health. Coconut oil is actually one of my favorite hair oils because coconut oil penetrates the hair shaft unlike other oils. Plus, it is high in lauric acid, which is an acid that protects and nourishes your hair. It helps to rebuild protein, the lauric acid, and your hair is mostly made of protein. So if you're helping to rebuild that, that will help with hair growth and that can help to prevent the natural protein loss that hair gets as it ages. So for this hair mask, instead of just using my coconut oil, I actually mixed together this coconut oil into this hair cream with some other ingredients. This is my coconut oil hair cream. It has different hair growth ingredients. So I'm going to leave a link for you right here. And if you're watching on mobile, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description for you guys. If you guys watch the video, you know, let me know what you guys think or give it a thumbs up and share to a friend. I would really appreciate it. My homemade hair cream contains ingredients that promote hair growth and healthy shiny hair. Plus it's really easy to make and smells really good because of the rosemary essential oil I added for the hair growth benefits. I'm just mixing it with my spoon until it's all one solid color. It should be a very creamy and thick consistency and this is how it should look when you're done. I love that beautiful green color it has. Putting on a shirt that you don't care about is definitely wise. So I'm just going to brush through my hair and then apply my hair rinse to make my hair a little bit damp and casually talk to myself. I find that dampening my hair just makes it easier to apply and that's the face of somebody excited to apply a hair mask. Other than the making part of it, this is definitely one of my favorite parts, applying it to my hair and eating random fruit. So I'm just making sure to get it all over my scalp for those hair growth benefits. Also doing a scalp massage can help with hair growth. So I'm always doing that when I'm applying a hair mask. This is so much fun. I'm treating my hair and having fun applying this hair mask. 
Do you think you'll try this avocado hair mask? Let me know in the comments below. It's so relaxing and cooling to my scalp because of the coconut milk I added. After that, I'm just going to rope braid my hair gently, and this will help to prevent tangles while my hair is being deep conditioned. And I just did that weird thing because I was very hungry at the time. And then I'm just tying them together with this hair tie. And can you guess what I'm doing here? Leave me a like if you know what I'm about to do. Yep, I am putting my hair in this plastic bag. It's very effective and cheap doing it this way. If you would like to see exactly what I'm doing in more detail, I'll leave a link right here. Just click on the annotation to see what I'm doing here and it'll explain everything. And yes, I know I look so fabulous with this bag on my head. I'm going to leave this on for about three hours and then wash my hair using my hair wash routine. So what do I do in that time? Well, usually I will eat. I have edible arrangements my boyfriend got for me, so I'll be munching on that and oatmeal. This is what my hair looks like after I shower. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and following me on my social media. Bye!